Hey hello everybody, my name is Katam, welcome back for another video of NHL 22 Franchise Mode. We're gonna continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and finished off the season, uh, the second regular season. Ended up missing the playoffs once again for the second year in a row. Uh, we, I think we figured out a good system, but a bit too late, uh, really. Now, our main goal today is to build up that team and make sure that we build it up uh, good enough so that we can actually have a good simulation. Because at this point, it's really hard to understand how the game works sometimes. I'm going to try my best to build it up as good as possible. We've got some really good prospects already in the um, AHL teams and stuff like that. That are coming up probably this year in the NHL. So we're going to try... Maybe do a full rebuild. I don't know about that. I want to really be good as soon as possible. Let's just go straight up into the NHL entry draft. We're going to do the entry draft today. Uh, where are we at? We are actually have the sixth. Yeah, we're uh, number six in the draft lottery. If we can manage to get ourselves the first overall by trading somebody, that would be great. So let's try and see if we can do that. We don't have any really good prospect for goaltenders. Still got that Pirates guy. Look at that. He's 81 overall now. 19 years of age. He's already ready to play in the NHL boys. So he's going to be fantastic for us. He's going to be a good defenseman. Uh, I really... I think this is definitely a guy we're going to want to keep. We also have Lazarev. Uh, shouldn't have signed him. I should have kept him uh, playing in the minors. But... Uh, playing in like junior leagues and stuff, but that's okay. We got Apple Buy and stuff, so Apple Buy is still a really good player. This is the guy that we uh, drafted 15 overall last year. Not too sure if we're gonna keep him or not eventually. I think we wanna maybe try and keep him. Now, the thing is, I don't have any prospects that I can trade per se. We got this Yakola guy, which I'm more than happy to trade away. And I don't know if I have anybody else that I want to really trade away. Uh, is there like one year deals and stuff? I mean, this Thompson guy has one year deal. He's 25 years of age. He's 83 overall. Power forward. I mean, he's pretty decent though. He's a pretty decent player for us. Yeah, he's all right. But I feel like we could get maybe something better out of him. I'm not too sure, boys, because there's um, other players. If I look around really quick, there are other players that I want to, to see if I can get, right? There's literally nothing. Nothing I can trade right now. Nothing of big value. We can't trade any uh, time, uh, big time players right now. So we, we're going to just try and trade. Wait, that's not going to happen. Wait, I made a mistake right here. Okay, I got to go. I got to move fast. I gotta give them a cola. Let me see if it's... No, it's not gonna go through. Yeah, this is not gonna go through. We're not gonna get the first round pick. I took too long anyways. Look at the first round pick though. I knew it. Medium franchise left wing sniper. 81 overall. Johnson. The Canucks, the Vancouver Canucks just got themselves a big time stud. Yeah, there was just no way in my mind that I was gonna be able to move up that much. I think the 6 overall is fine as it is. We're going to keep the prospects I have. I'm not going to move, try and move up. There's another medium franchise. Holy shit. Connor Bedard is actually a medium franchise, boys. This is a lot. That's two, main, that's two franchise players in a row. How is that even happening, boys? How is that even possible? Okay, and there's a high elite. High elite as well. Yo, this is a really good trade. We're going to get lucky, boys. Medium elite. Yeah, this is a really good... Oh, these guys messed up big time because look at that. Two medium franchises in a row. And I would argue Conor Bedard is actually better than Johnson. And then we got Mikhkov as a high elite. Medium elite over here. Yeah, we've got a chance to really have a really good player. Now, this guy is a high top six. And he, oh, he scored, look, he puts a lot of points on the boards, actually. One year before getting ready, so he's in the low 70s, he's in the mid 70s, probably, or high 70s. Miko Koivu comparison. Uh, we've got all these other players we haven't 
take a, took a look at, but we know this guy for sure. He's a medium elite, guaranteed uh, gem as well. Three years before getting ready, though, being ready. He's compared to Owen Nolan. Uh, I'm going to pick him up. Uh, he's uh, going to be ready in uh, three years, but that's okay because he is a medium elite, so big time prospect for us. Let's pick him up, boys. Boom. So medium elite, left wing power forward, 64 overall. I could have probably gotten a better player, but I saw that guaranteed medium elite. I went for it, boys, and these guys went for Jagger anyways. So, hey, that's all good. Yeah, so far it seems like, yeah, it seems like I picked the right choice. Yeah, I don't see anybody else right now that, uh, oh, well, there it is. There's this one. Uh, Atanovic, left wing playmaker as well. 81 overall instead of 64. I mean, it's fine. I think I think it's fine for me. I still got uh, the power forward I wanted. I, I still got the, the elite player I wanted. So it's fine by me. Uh, let me see if there's any other gems. No gems whatsoever. Uh, what about the potential wise? Let's go take a look really quick. Nothing at all. Yeah, I don't see anybody that's really been scouted too well. We got a lot of top sixes. Uh, potential uh, potential wise I'm just gonna go for someone that we know maybe has some potential oh Chris Chelios hold on this guy might be a Chris Chelios four years though I don't know if he's an elite for sure uh, three years no comparison same thing for these guys I don't know anything about I don't want to go for them this guy doesn't have any comparison uh, you want to go for the, the guys that have like comparisons this Oshi guy 18 years of age lefty and probably a defensive defenseman I don't know if he's actually gonna be a medium elite but at least he's got he's compared to Chris Chelios so in four years before ready let's pick him up and see if it that's a good choice ah medium top six so that's definitely not a Chris Chelios I don't know what the the other team was smoking and right before me as well there was a low elite that got picked up by the San Jose Sharks so Okay, so that's kind of a, it's not a, well, it is a miss. For the second round, it's definitely a miss. I'm not too sure what I want to go for next. I mean, we can try and go for one of these guys. Dan Amnus, that's not going to be good enough. Five years, yeah. At this point, what you want to go for is a bunch of power forwards. Either power forward, defensive defensemen, or snipers. Those are the ones that are going to be elites for sure. Or goaltenders, you can, uh, we can take a chance on a goaltender, which I think I might want to do, but he's 112 overall. Let's try our chance. This is a playmaker. There's a sniper right there. There's two snipers. This guy, three years before ready. Five years. Let's pick this knee, my guy. I know he was uh, in the high ups. He's actually uh, he's a scouted to be ex at my exact spot. So let's pick uh, Minima. To, uh, low top six. All right. He's a, an actual two-way forward. So he's not a sniper. But still pretty decent. Now, of course, there's... I, I keep seeing... Look at this. There's so many, like, medium elites. And uh, a lot of goaltenders as well. I'm missing out on, on all these. I don't know how I'm doing to miss out on these. I'm going to go for this guy. Because there's a lot of medium elite. Watch me, I'm not going to get... Yeah, medium starter. I'm not getting lucky, boys. I am getting unlucky with these draft picks. In a draft lottery that is full jam-packed of big-time prospects, I'm getting unlucky. So instead of getting unlucky, why don't we just put some guarantees in here? So let's get the, the low top four. All right? At least we're going to make sure to get the guarantees. So... That guy is pretty good. Is a low top four. 51 overall though. But uh, he should be decent enough. We'll let him grow on the miners and stuff. Or we can always trade him uh, uh, later on. Next up. We've got this low top six. Possibly that we could take. He's got some points. He's putting some points on the board. But I'm not too sure about him. But this guy is a plus two. He's a power four. Let me pick this v Vico guy. Because he's plus two in an A plus league. And he doesn't put any points on the board, but he seems like a pretty good prospect. Let's pick him up, boys. Bottom six player. Garbage. All right, absolute garbage. I am not picking up the right ones right now, boys. It seems like uh, we've hit the bottom right here. Uh, let me... Let's just 
Humphrey, though, is 19 years of age. Yeah, I don't want that. They're all 19 years of age. So I don't want to pick anybody that's 19, boys. There's just going to be a, a waste of a draft. We could try and go for either one of these guys. For defenseman, this guy put up a lot of points. Minus 3, though. And uh, plus 12 in, in the plus minuses for this guy. A little bit more confident in the Budokis than I am in Anderson. This guy has some weaknesses. We haven't un uh, uncovered any weaknesses from uh, Budokis. I'm going to go for Budokis. Let's go for him, boys. Ba low bottom six. That's even worse. Wow. I, uh, I am really getting that unlucky. What about this Zikov guy? We're just going to pick up. Like, whoever we can find that has that uh, potential. Okay, so there we go. Low top four. I mean, we got to we gotta try our luck right here. I guess we're not picking up anything. What about this guy? Eight points in the D-League. That's pretty garbage. Yeah, at this point, we're not going to pick up anything that's interesting at all. We'll just pick this Humphrey guy. Uh, this Humphrey guy is pretty close to the low top six. So maybe if we can get, like, something... Low bottom six again. What the hell, boys? We keep like these. Well, this was a really bad draft pick for a uh, draft for, uh, draft lottery for us. It was a really bad one. Uh, I mean, we got some good, maybe two good players in there, but that's about it. Uh, I am gonna keep the head coach. He's a pretty good uh, head coach. So let's uh, resign him really quick. Uh, let's resign him with the same contract. Let's give him a little bit more. He'll definitely accept because I gave him, uh, I'm giving him a little bit more. So I'll just give him uh, that amount as an AHL uh, head coach. Next up, these guys are pretty garbage. Uh, we are actually going to get rid of them. They're garbage. We're going to get ourselves some better uh, coaches for the minors and stuff. That's going to be better. Okay, next up. I think I'm good with uh, all the scouts. Actually, no, I do see some scouts I need to resign. Alright, here we go. So I went ahead and uh, offered the, uh, the, the scouts the money they wanted. And now we're going to the re-sign phase, boys. The most supportive thing here is because we've got such a bad draft lottery, we really are going to need to focus hardcore on the free agency and what our roster is going to look like. If we go to center, we still got Malkin at 98, uh, 89 overall, so he did not drop. But he might eventually drop during the free uh, during the off season, so I'm not sure, boys. Hopefully not, though. So we've got Middlestat and Pavelski. I think Pavelski did drop, though. That's unfortunate. We've got Thompson. He does not want to come back. Tom Thompson does not want to come back, and that is fine by me. I can actually go and get somebody better, like as a center. I'm sure there's going to be a better option. So get rid of Thompson, boys. Over here in the minors, we already have all four of our players, so that's fine. Let's get rid of Kozak. So we are just going to need simply uh, a center. If we go now to the left wing position, let's go all the way to the top. We got three players. So we got Keller, Skinner, and uh, Krebs. Uh, Krebs is growing. He's going to be growing quite fast. He might be in the 85s. Uh, he might be. He, he's actually a high top six now, which is really good. I think he was already that. I'm not too sure, though. We got Gergensons, which we could keep him again as a, a backup uh, a backup player. Two-way forward, though. That's the problem. I don't know if I want to keep him. Let, let's not keep him. And instead of keeping him, we're just going to uh, see if we can get a better uh, death player. Someone that is not a two-way forward. So that's pretty much that. We also have Bjork. Now, Bjork might be ready to play in the league uh, next year. He's a two-way forward. I want to get rid of him, boys. I don't like two-way forwards. Let's get rid of those. So, uh, we've got Cogliano. That's one, two, and three right here players that we've got. Let's get rid of Moriala. Uh, uh, we also have this guy. We do not want to have him. He doesn't have any potential. We've got Pekar. Pekar is a medium top nine. He's got some potential, but he's a two-way forward as well. That's unfortunate. We got all these two-way forwards. Absolutely garbage. Yeah, I don't want that guy. That guy, you're get, I'm getting rid of him. So we're going to have to look around really quick for uh, some better players. So once again, we are going to need a left winger for the main league and an actual left winger for the minors as well. When we go to the right wing position now, 
We've got three right wingers as of right now. Jack Quinn is an 83. It's probably going to go up to the 85 marks. And we still got Tuck and Alston. Alston being our best player both years, two years in a row, boys. It's, uh, equal amount, 71 points. He scored more goals than last year, though, uh, than the year pre uh, before. And we've got Ocposo. So Ocposo could be our depth player. He's a power forward, which is acceptable in my mind. So, yes, we'll, uh, we'll keep him. So the power forward will definitely keep him. We're giving the five-year deal. And uh, I guess we'll give him, uh, since we're moving, uh, modifying his years, we'll just give him a, a million more. There we go. So he's going to be our depth player. So we are going to need still, because I, I know for a fact, Petorka is not going to be ready to play in the league. I'm pretty sure. He's 77 overall. He did have a, a really good season. But I don't, yeah, I don't think he's going to be ready. And he's a two-way forward anyways. Yeah, I'm going to have to go for a right winger in the main league. And we do have our four players already for the main, uh, the the, uh, the minor leagues, defense-wise. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We got seven defensemen already. Probably Bryson is going to be ready to play as well. We've got lots of defensemen right here. We've got also Samuelson, which is the high top six. The problem is. They're all going to be ready to play in the league, probably. I don't have any space for them. I'm going to have to get rid of some of these players. I need a depth defenseman. Ristolainen is still a good enough player to play as uh, consistently. But since Pyrons is an uh, NHL ready guy, we're going to have to play him. And Darlene is now in the 90s, boys, which is really good. Look, I've got a dilemma right here. At 8 million, I'm going to have to get rid of him. We're just going to have to buy out Ristolainen, boys. Now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We've got our 6 players. We've got our 6 players and all these guys are growing. These are all a bunch of prospects. I got to keep those. I got to keep these prospects a big time in my team. So I don't have a choice here. Get got to keep him. Bryson might be ready to play for us, but he still got the contract. So I guess he's going to be in the minors. We don't have much of a choice here. I am not going to be able to play him. Just not going to be able to play him in the league. We're going to need a depth defenseman for sure uh, for the league. So that's going to be one, uh, two right here. So a, a second player right here, our uh, Lazarev guy, the me, uh, low top, so, uh, low elite. So we've got two defensemen signed up for the uh, the minors. I don't know if I want to sign up Samuelson. He's definitely going to be ready for the next uh, next year. I don't want to get this guy, that Fidgerald guy, that's for sure. This Lackerson guy, I can re-sign him for sure. He's not, uh, that's not going to be a problem. I think I, I really want to... Uh, I'm going to re-sign him. That's going to put us at three defensemen. I'm going to keep Apple by in the... Um, in the junior leagues, just so it can grow as much as fast as possible. And also, I'm just gonna. I think I, I want to get rid of of Samuelson to be honest, because I'm not gonna be able to play him, and I don't want uh, a guy to be. Uh, I don't want to hinder his growth uh, in the minors. So let's just get rid of him, boys, and get another team to pick him up. Uh, or, or unfortunately, I, I just don't have any space for him. I think uh, so. We're going to need three more defensemen for the minor league. And for the goaltenders, we still got Campbell at 85 overall and uh, Lukonen at 80. Did not grow. I uh, would have hoped for him to grow, but he, the, the problem is, is he, uh, he had a pretty bad season overall. So uh, he didn't produce too much. He didn't, do, uh, didn't produce too well. Still got a fringe starter high. So we still got Stuart Skinner, which. He might be ready to play in the NHL uh, during the year. I'm not too sure if that's going to be the case or not. We're going to have to make a trade or whatnot. But uh, Stuart Skinner, I don't know if I'm going to keep... I'm going to release him as well. Uh, he's not that good as a prospect as Lukonen. We don't want another prospect to... We don't want to have to the, the dilemma of having to make trades early on. All right, well, I've got everything that I, uh, I know I want. So uh, we've got Rocky Keefe, which is coming back as the head coach once again. Uh, Anula, all these scouts are going to say yes. Uh, all I'm hoping for is everybody's going to resign, want to resign with me and stuff, hopefully. Uh, there we go. We got Alcposo, Laxonen, 
Is there everybody? I think that might be everybody. I think we didn't have too many people to actually resign. Yeah, that was all. That, that was just these two guys I actually had to resign. The other ones I let go of. So let's just advance all the way to the free agency. And there it is. So we're going about to we're about to enter the free agency. We got lots of new players that are going to enter in our team, boys, because our team is pretty much naked uh, right now. And already right off the bat, look at that. Right off the bat, this is the mistake that I'm not going to make like, uh, like the last let's play. I'm definitely going to make sure to get him. Uh, Nathan McKinnon, boys, 96 overall franchise player. He's 27 years of age. He's a playmaker as well. This guy is going to be a stud for us. We got to get that, yeah, 104 points. I don't know why Colorado did not want to re-sign him. I don't care. I'm getting him. And I needed a center as well. It coincides perfectly with me. All right. Yeah, we're definitely going to get him. Seven years, we put him at 34 years of age. Let's put him a six-year deal to put him at three, uh, 33 years of age. And we are also going to give him... Double the amount of money. 20 mil, boys. We're going to give him 20 mil. I am not messing around. This is a franchise player. Uh, I'm going to give him as much money or the maximum amount of money I can give him. The maximum amount of money I can give him is 16.3 million for six years. I can't even give him 20 million. So I'm giving him the maximum amount of money, boys. I want him to sign with me. All right, immediately. Who else is intrigued by them? I can't see who, who wants him, but hopefully he's going to sign with us because I gave him 16, I'm offering him uh, 16 million right here. So we're done with le uh, center position, left wing position. We need one left winger. Funny enough, uh, or good enough, we've got Johnson and Killorn in the higher tiers uh, for uh, for the 85s, but they're both two way forwards. So we're going to have to take a look if they're actually any good. We got this. Uh, we got Killorn and Johnson. Andreas Johnson. They're both kind of the same. I feel like Killorn produces more though. If I have to sign somebody, I probably sign Johnson over Killorn, even though he produces less. Seems like a better option than uh, Killorn. Or maybe I'm making a mistake because Killorn. Look at that. Plus 46. All right. So Johnson's a better defensive player. Or Killorn's a better offensive player. But Killorn's already in the 33 years of age. Might be go for Johnson. We'll see what I have as another option over here though. We've, I know we've got some power forwards. We've got some playmakers and all. Kind of want to go for those instead, right? Burakovsky probably would be better. 7% 7, uh, 7 though Ooh, for the shooting stats. He did get six, uh, 60 points last year though. So pretty good production. Uh, and takeaways are, uh, are really good. Takeaways are really good. 7% is kind of risky. That's somebody that's not going to produce too much. 4% of his shots are going in. I'm looking for us, obviously somebody that's going to be scoring a lot of goals, boys. Or that is decent. Like in the 12%, that's really good. That's really high up. Uh, Drouin, that's, uh, that's a really good one right there. And it's somebody that is good, both hand on the ice. Like... Dead takeaways as well. Now it, get, it gives away the puck too much. So that's unfortunate. We don't want to go for a guy like him, boys. That's what I'm talking about right here. Is we got to make sure that we take the right one. 10% is good enough. Uh, and it takes away the puck. But it's 10%. Compared to maybe a power forward. Uh, Van Riemsdyk right here. Equally amount right here. And also... In nine percent, so Vammer is like not too good, boys. So yeah, I'm not too sure right here. Obviously, I kind of want to. I I don't really want to. I don't really want to go for a guy like Johnson. I feel like that would be a mistake uh, to go for another two-way forward when you can get these players instead. But I feel like I have. I gotta do it because I've. It, they're higher tier. They're just higher tier. We'll take another chance on a two-way forward. If it doesn't pan out, it doesn't pan out, boys. This guy is 11%. He does take away the puck a lot more than it gives it away. So we'll we'll take a chance on this Johnson guy. Uh, three year, uh, five. Yeah, that's going to put him at 33 years of age. All right, there we go, boys. So 
8.5 hopefully he accepts to come with us finally let's go into the miners now we gotta go uh and take uh, ourselves a player for the miners in the left wing position now we're not mixing or missing around we want svechnikov Cahoon. we've got a lucic uh we could pick up as well uh, we've the end eye is not that good Got some. We need somebody with a good and eye, boys. So as a special not so much. Cahoon's pretty good. 83 of and I and the end I for Perlini. 86 actually. Perlini is a really good player. Let's pick up Perlini, boys. Three years. Let's give him a maximum three uh, three years at uh, nine uh, nine uh, point nine twenty five. There we go. Right wing position. Here we go. We got another big time uh, player. Once again, it's the same story. Last time we managed to get, I think, our hands on Pasternak, but we never got our hands on Mekinen. Or even we didn't get our hands on any of them. Now this time around, we gotta do it. We gotta ma manage to do it. So, uh, Pasternak, you're coming with us, buddy. You're definitely coming with us. Let's uh, sign him. Same thing, six year deal, but the biggest amount of deal, the biggest deal possible. So 16 million for him as well, boys. He better accept. I'm telling you, if he doesn't accept, I'm going to lose my... If none of them accept, I'm going to lose my mind because I'm giving them the maximum amount of deal that I, they can possibly get right here. So there we go. 16.3 for you as well. And we uh, don't know, uh, don't need anything else for the right wing position. So we're going to the uh, defensive position. Now, there's not a lot of options, but unfortunately enough, we don't need an actual defenseman for the league. We just need a depth one. So we're going to the 80s. And there seems to be a problem right here. And the, the problem is they're all players that can grow still. Unlike this guy, he's still 26 years. Yeah, they're both 26 years. Maybe we can pick one of these two. 76 of and I and 75. I am going to go for Travis Dermott. Let's go for Travis Dermott, boys. He'll be our depth defenseman. Hopefully, he's not going to uh, be an 81 or something. Uh, if that's the case, it is what it is. But uh, for uh, hopefully, that's not going to be the case. All right, so we'll sign him for a 1.9 year deal. Or 1.8 year deal. 8.25. There we go for, uh, for actually a big amount. Let's get him for a 7 year deal, boys. Let's do it. At 1.3, let's uh, give him a 2.35, I guess, uh, deal right there. There we go. So that's going to be our player right here, our depth defenseman. And now we just need three minor league deal, uh, minor league uh, defensemen. Still got Samuelson, but I don't want to sign these guys that are still prospects, boys. I want to sign uh, players that cannot grow, right? Or not going to be in the 80s. We'll sign this Clifton guy at 2.05, boys. For five years, he's going to be, uh, uh, I guess, a defenseman for us. Two-way defenseman. He's 76 of and I, so he's pretty decent. I'm still looking for the other ones. Uh, other defensemen that higher, higher than 75. This Wallman guy, 78 of offensive uh, of and I, so that's going to be good. We're going to, same thing for him. We'll sign him. Six-year deal. Like uh, like the other ones, basically, and uh, 2.05 uh, as well. There we go. We just need one more defenseman, boys. Let's see if we can find him. 77, that's pretty good. Yeah, at this point, you got to look for... Oh, there we go. Uh, Howell, boys. Sebastian Ayo, uh, the defenseman uh, one, is a pretty good. 80 of offensive uh, of, uh, of and I, so that's really good. We're going to pick him up for sure. Uh, Three-year deal, minor league deal. Yeah, maximum amount. There I go. Perfect. And last but not least, the goaltenders. We need just a, a minor league goaltender. That's what we need. So a goalie for the minors. Let's take a look real quick. We got to pick up one of these guys right here. Uh, I'm not too sure who I want to go for. Dumnik could be good enough, I guess. We want to go for the guy that has the most vision. Dumnik seems to have the most right now, the most amount of. Uh, never mind, Brian Elliott is actually better. Yo, Anson, let's go for Brian Elliott. Seems to be a good veteran goaltender. So let's uh, pick him up for two-year deal at 1.75, uh, boys. All right, he's going to play until he's 40, I guess. 
in his 40s for us. And that's pretty much it. That's all I had to, uh, to go for. Next stop, we got to go for the coaches, though. Because we do have, we are going to have to sign some coaches for the minors. We need an associate, assistant, and goalie coach. So let's take a look around. All right, so we got all three players. We're gonna, I'm going to go for all three of them right here. All right, the job offers has been uh, offered, boys, to these three coaches. Hopefully, all accept uh, without any issues. And uh, we should have a stud. Uh, just like our NHL counterpart, we should have a stud uh, coaching staff for the uh, AHL. So let's uh, advance the day now and hope that everybody accepts. So, oh, he decided to sign somewhere else. Okay, so... He refused, so that was the guy that I wanted as my uh, associate coach for the minor league, and he actually refused. He went for the Jets instead. Oh, that's very unfortunate. I'm gonna have to go to somebody else, boys. All right, so I went for this uh, this uh, Kirk Love guy. He's gonna be our associate coach. I hope at least. Still waiting on the answers from the other two. So let's see really quick. There it is. So he joined the team. So we got our assistant coach. And uh, we've got our goalie coach as well. There it is, boys. Now we're just waiting on our players as well. There we go. So we got Clifton, uh, Perlini, Ao. We've got Wallman, Elliot, uh, Dermot. So all the little minor players. I'm still waiting on the answer for Pasternak and McKinnon, and McKinnon boys. Hopefully they accept. I hope that they accept, boys. Really need them to do uh, to do so. Kirk Love decided to go for somebody else. Why? I don't know. That's kind of a weird. I guess you can go with Minnesota. Why not? Please tell me that. Oh, there it is. Yes, Pastor Knack. We've got Pastor Knack, boys, and we've got Mackin uh, There it is, and we got Johnson as well. All right, we got the two of them. We got the two of them. Now I just need to find a goddamn. Uh, coach uh, for the uh, as an associate coach it seems like nobody wants to be the, an associate coach in the minor league I don't know why kind of a weird uh, weird one we got uh, Nilsson is that fr oh it is it's, it is Franz Nilsson all right well let's sign him former player boys let's sign him to a deal uh, Franz Nilsson let's see if that's gonna work out for us we're giving him the maximum amount of deal there we go buddy all right, Franz Nilsson, let's give him a, a, a chance as a, as a coach in the minors. Why not, boys? All right, there we go. Let's continue to assimilate until we get the, that so-called coach. There it is. So we got a former uh, player, Franz Nilsson, coming to us. Uh, going to be, uh, gonna be our associate coach in the minors. And we got our hands on everybody. Uh, we've got Mekinen and Pasternak are both going to be playing on the first line, obviously. Now we got ourselves a stud team. We've got something to build ourselves on. And I can definitely focus. We can have a good season now. I'm pretty sure. With all the prospects as well coming in. Playing for the first time. We're going to have a fun time boys. So uh, I'm going to leave the video right here. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. And enjoy. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.